Hey everyone, we're here today to talk about some new and improved cross country spikes and also just to teach everyone out there a little bit more about the spikes. So cross country spikes are going to be the shoes we use for racing during the cross country season in the fall and there's two big reasons why we'd want to wear a spike rather than wearing our daily training shoe. The first reason is going to be weight. Cross country spikes are going to be much lighter weight than our trainers, which will hopefully help us run much quicker and, much, and improve those PRs every week. The other reason is the grip. Not only do the spikes have the built-in metal implements to help grip into the ground, but the bottom is built with much better traction um, for those muddy, grassy conditions, and especially later in the season if we do need a little more grip as we're trying to let those races go well. Here at NRC, we break down spikes into two categories, entry level and secondary level. First, we're gonna start with entry level spikes. Entry level spikes are gonna be different in that they're gonna have a little more cushion and support. They're gonna be built a little sturdier. And just overall, they're not gonna be as geared on the toes. To break each of those down, the more cushion and support is going to be because these spikes are for someone that maybe has never worn a spike before. It's going to feel closer but still much better than our trainer, but it's not going to leave us feeling super sore after those races or maybe a key workout where we wear our spikes. The more support will come in a sturdier upper and that more cushion, which might be good for anyone, maybe not just someone who's worn spikes for the first time, but maybe someone whose foot needs a little bit more shoe underneath them. The other difference is going to be in the number of spikes that are built into the bottom of the shoe. Typically in the entry level spikes there are going to be a few less of those implements built in. That's because the shoe is not as geared forward on the toes, which won't just mean that it's, it's not as aggressive, it's not going to activate and potentially tighten our calves as much. The nice thing about an entry level spike is it also is going to be a little less. So overall if you're looking for a great option for someone that's new to the sport, new to spikes, or you like a shoe with more support and you want to save a little bit of money, we will have these entry level spikes at all three of our Naperville Running Company locations. Building off of that entry level category, we now move into the secondary level of spikes. So to contrast that entry level group, these spikes are going to be a little less cushioned, a little less supportive, and definitely a little more geared on the toes. The thought process behind those three things is that these spikes are for someone that is a little more used to that feel, someone who isn't going to be as affected by being more on their toes for those two, three mile races, and overall maybe someone who's looking for a lighter weight shoe. Just like the entry level spikes though, secondary level spikes can be used by anyone. Even if you have never worn a spike before, if you come and try these on on and they're the most comfortable ones in the store, these are still the ones you are, are going to want to go to for. So to look more into them, the secondary level spikes are going to overall have a lighter weight upper material, a little less cushion on the bottom, potentially more spike implements built into the toe since that's where our foot strike is more geared as the shoe is rolled a little more forward on our toe. Overall, secondary level spikes are usually used by more experienced runners in terms of it having them worn spikes before, but anyone can use these. The other benefit of a secondary level cross country spike is that they are sometimes easier to transition into the track season if that's something that we are going to want to be using one shoe year round. The only difference then would be changing from the 3 8 spike implements we use in cross country to those indoor 1 8 and outdoor quarter inch spike lengths. Overall, there's no better spike. Entry level or secondary level, whatever feels best for you, that's what you're going to want to come in and try on. Luckily, we have a wide variety of spikes, so no matter who you are, what distance you like to run, if you're running cross country this fall and you're looking to get a little bit better improvement with your race day shoes, come check them out here at NRC.